If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. And if you're looking for code cards, make sure you check out Poton Store. They have automatic email delivery and all the latest Pokemon TCG codes and you can use Tablemon code for 5% off. If you're from Europe, MealyBotsGaming.com is a great option to get your cards from. They have all sorts of sealed products, merchandise, and all the sets available from Pokemon Sun and Moon upwards, including the latest Hidden Fate set. Don't forget to use Tailmon code when checking out to get a further 5% off from your final purchase. And welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TG Worlds 2020. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are now moving on to the 10th place Pidgeotto list from the Latin America International Championship. Really cool deck um, played by Alessandro Grimascoli, top player from Italy who's been consistently doing well and consistently only playing male decks, which is really, really impressive. So. We have Oranguru with resource management to get back all the resources that we need, especially the uh, milling cards and the annoying cards like custom catchers and um, crushing hammers. We have Pijoro, which is the engine of the deck. With airmail, we get to draw, draw, draw cards, and we find the resources that way. And we have um, Articuno GX with the Cold Crush GX attack so that we can remove a lot of energies from play in one attack. We also have the Ditto and the Sloking, the Memory Melt attack can potentially um, remove things uh, from play, putting them into Lost Zone, things like switches, things like energies, things like any resource that you might uh, consider important. You can actually utilize Memory Melt since we were already running Water Energies. I don't know why I have the... Oh, this is actually not foiled out. That's okay though. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so yeah, we have the extra water so we can do that. We can also have traffic to put even more cards in the Lost Zone. And then we have our engine which is comprised of four Elms and four Pokegear. That's basically how we get going. We also have Mars, we also have Hapus to Thin, we have Fan Clubs for the extra basics, uh, basic search and the fact that we can search for Articuno as well which is really cool. And we have Tana License for the switching effect as well as the shuffling. We have Faba, we have Jesse and James, we have Mars to attack the hand. We basically have a lot of resources um, to deny our opponent's resources and try to mill them and completely run them out of energy. Um, along with the Belelba to accelerate our win condition by discarding top three cards from our opponent's top deck. So we'll just have to see how we end up doing with this deck. It's not fully blinked out and I apologize for that. Someone mentioned in the comments the other day that uh, fully blinked out decks were hard to distinguish which cards were being played. That's definitely not the feedback I've received and for the last five years I've been making videos. Um, the blingingness has never been an issue, but if it is, I would love to know if people would rather I play with um, with, their, with their regular... Um, with their regular... Um, with the regular cards. I don't mind either way. You know? I would like to go first, that's always good. And Babotets, eh, no te preocupes, porque nadie lleva la lista de Gustavo Guada, demasiado loca. Apenas la publicaron ayer, yo creo que por eso nadie la, la ha mostrado. Eh, apenas lo publicaron ayer o antier, entonces por eso nadie la ha mostrado, pero eh, yo sí me voy a animar a mostrarla, probablemente eh, el día de mañana en la transmisión. Uh, please don't fight. <laughs> please don't fight. Please don't insult each other. Like, it's okay to discuss and it's okay to disagree. There's no need to, to throw insults around. Yeah. Okay, so... Oof. Is this just... Wow, so my opponent... He's not happy to see me playing this. Uh... So, Fan Club is 100% worse in this situation than Elves? Hmm. I don't know what I need here. I guess Fan Club to keep thinning? 
And then I'll grab double Pidgey. Uh, yeah, double Pidgey. So is this a not a win for us or is this a not a loss? Okay, well, we'll just bench the Pidgeys. Like, I, I don't know what happened in the discussion, but... And Antoine was asking, what's a good resource for you to get back into PCGO? Like, resource in terms of decks and stuff? Crystal Playstuffs, thank you so much for the follow. Um, like, in order to get back into a game, you can definitely find, like, buy codes. Right? You can buy codes and... Um, <coughs> you can buy codes uh, online in potentstore.com and you get um, immediate email delivery. So that's something you can actually do if you wanted to. Um, okay, so do I just lose here? Do I go double custom? Do I try to do, draw with it? No. I'll just use them to bring up a Pidgey and I'll just put them back into the deck for later use. Um, so yeah, like resources, all you need is code cards to get back into things, limitless TCG. You can look up decks and figure out what's good, what's winning tournaments. So there's plenty of resources. Plenty, plenty of resources. Alright, triple Pidgeotto versus our quadruple Pidgey with the double fan club. So, wow, and he only elms once. <laughs> Must be nice. So, we're in top deck mode. We are in top deck mode. Wait, Cynthia Caitlyn? Why play Cynthia Caitlyn in this deck? What supporter do you want back so badly that you want to play Cynthia Caitlyn instead of a Palpat or something? I don't understand that particular card. Oh my gosh, what a top deck. What a top deck. Alright, so what's my plan against my opponent? It feels like this might be an auto loss. Because he eventually gets enough prizes, right? And if I'm item locked, I can't attack his hand. I mean, is it just like Belelba? Ooh, the how is really nice. Is it just like Belelba? You try to wreck him that way? I'm honestly not sure. Uh, there's no point in even resource managing these things back into the deck, so I'm not gonna bother. Is it all about the Belelpa? I'm not sure. I'm generally not sure. I just like Belelpa, put it back, Belelpa, put it back, Belelpa, put it back. You don't need the lock, just Belelpa? Okay, so we'll just Belelpa. Well, you can't lock anyways, right? Because there's no energies to lock. Um, maybe I locked up a Jodo, but he must be playing the U-turn ports, which he'll get at some point. Cynthia Caitlin again, what supporter are you wanting to get back so bad? Uh, what do you think about the VMAX cards shown so far? Um, I, did, I did mention earlier that I didn't think they were that surprising. They look very cool, but I don't think they're like that impressive in terms of Raw power? Oh, Belel, yeah, for the discard effect, right? Right, so Belelba. Right, right, right. Belelba forces them to discard Pokemon. Yeah, so. I guess it's all about that. I could see Stalking maybe being kind of useful. So, airmail of the Articuno. Uh, then, sure, the Palpad. So, the VMAX cards, they didn't seem like super powerful. 
right? They didn't seem super, super powerful. Okay, the, the Fava might be useful to get rid of that in particular. The Fava might actually be useful here. Once again, no need to resource management. The Fava might be useful to get rid of these, but that's pretty much it, right? Like, I wouldn't mind using Lieutenant Search, Belelva, and Fava every turn. Because then maybe they eventually whiff. Like, all you need is for them to whiff one turn. And then you... Well, you don't lock them, lock them, but... So goodbye Ranguru. If I use Belova right now, it doesn't actually affect him though, right? So I'm definitely thinking I use Fala this turn. Um, drop egg, probably not gonna be super useful. Probably should have kept the other Ranguru. Um, Breeze's time for whenever he fails to lock me, or if he ever does. Airmail, let's grab the water. Now let's grab the custom catcher. And then let's go airmail for the takes, I guess. Yeah, I already have a Misty and I'm not, probably not gonna be using it. Um, so then we Faba, right? We Faba the escape board. And then we put back the Faba and the Ranguru and the water. All right, so I guess. Doing this over and over six times should be pretty fun. When an Absol shut this deck down, uh, Absol only increases the retreat cost of basic Pokemon, so it doesn't affect Pidgeotto or any other stage one that they might use to retreat. So that's, that's something, I guess. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, so Absol only works in basics. So like Pidgeotto wouldn't be affected, Nine Tails if they're playing that wouldn't be affected. Um, Gumi would. Not sure what else they do play or they don't play, but all right. Cynthia Caitlyn, four Cynthia Caitlyns. Like, that's arguably worse. Well, it's not worse than Sharon, I guess. It's better than Sharon, because then you get back resources. But do you really want to just get back elves? That's not ideal, right? Okay, so my opponent very smartly now promotes the LGM to avoid that situation. He does have another. Um, the skateboard anyways. So I think now I have to... So let's grab these two for sure. I don't think I need Jason James. I would love Lieutenant Search though. There we go. Uh, sure. Okay, so... Let me just read the Valelva real quick. Each player discards a bench Pokemon that will have three benched Pokemon. So they would discard... It also affects me, I guess, technically. Definitely also affects me. Do I care about healing? No, I don't. Like I was just thinking if I should replace the stadium, but all right. So chip chip ice axe. Well, the custom nature was probably better. It is a weird game. Like I'm gonna make my opponent go through six Sarangaroos, which is fine. 
Goo Boy shuts down this deck hard, yeah, the Gumi would be a big problem. The Gumi would certainly be a big, big problem. Here. Are you going to go into Sloking at some point? I mean, even if I hit two triple. Whoa, did he just quit? Did my opponent just quit here? Did my opponent just go AFK? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Pretty sure he did go AFK. Yeah. Oh well. It was gonna be an interesting endgame. Which, based on my zero knowledge of that endgame in that matchup, would have made for an interesting decision. Um... Yeah, you use Alola to discard two damage to Oranguru and prize denial that way. That's true. That is true. That would have required me to use first the Tenaliza to switch and then do that and then search Tenaliza and Biloba, which is not horrible, right? It's definitely not horrible. Um, seems like a good plan. So we get to go first. That's always great. And we have turn one elms. Can't ask for much more than that. Turn one elms plus Poke Gear for possibly turn two elms plus Hapu plus Power Plant plus the Belal is not priced plus um, Mulligans. So if my opponent starts anything other than Poipol, we should be okay. Like if they start Poipol, do you just lose? I might have thought about going into slogan, yeah, but I wouldn't have had enough time to hit all four triple colorless energy, right? Wow, this is just broken. <laughs> this is just absolutely broken. Okay, so my opponent starts Jirachi. Uh, so this is Mew Mew then? This is Mew Mew, not... Um, I priced two Pidgeys, that's a problem. If my opponent goes turn one, Welder, Mew Mew, Espeon Deoxys, KO Pidgey, and Ditto. That would be a very big problem. Because then we'd be down to one Pidgey. There's the Treasure, this guy's so Galo, so it is Mew Mew, it's not Magnavale, or Blacephalon rather. It is not Blacephalon. I'm gonna run for some water while my opponent's turn. What? Whilst my opponent's turn happens, I'll be right back. My opponent's turn still going on. Really pushing for that welder. What is the best deck in the format going to be for Daytona? Uh, that's hard to say. ADP is good, Florges is good, Mew Mew is good, Baby Blounce, Peach is good, Ability Rush is good, Mew 3 is good. There's just a lot of good decks. It's hard to say which one is the best deck. Okay, so no Welder. That was 
Some good news. Oh, definitely good news. If I had played the power plant on turn one, that might have been a good call. That might have completely stopped my opponent in his tracks, or that might have forced him to choose a different card off of the Stellar Wish. Who knows? Um, I feel like I might as well play the power plant and then. Okay, so what's better? Do I airmail first or do I happen first? I feel like I airmail first. Let's keep the Mars. Let's keep the Lorelei. And let's keep the. Uh, the Faba? Faba this turn is not horrible by removing that because Mew 3 decks usually are very greedy with their. Oh, I already played as a torture. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Um, you like Dolstal, that's what you're probably playing for, Daytona, Ryan. Yeah. And that's a good call. Mew 380p and Pidgey Blounds are your guess for the top three most popular decks. Uh you think you don't think Ability Reshazard after it just won the international is gonna be as popular as those decks? I feel like I would put uh, Ability Reshazard way more popular than Pidgey Blounds. Way, way, way more popular than Pidgey Blounds. Okay, so if you lose this Pidgeotos, we are basically out of the game, right? Still a wish. Still a wish a Rooney Stadium, which finds us the water if we need to. There's another Mew Mew. We also have Giraffe Raid, so that's good. Another Cherish. For the Dene, yeah. So we're gonna see a Dene change here. We're also definitely gonna see a knockout. Pokegum's away the Mewtwo. So Pokegum and Jirachi, interesting. And there's the Espion Deoxys. So if my opponent discards the Espion Deoxys, which he does, oh no, he benches it, never mind. Yeah, that's smart because this isn't stopped by Power Plant, so we're in for a rough time here. We are in for a rough time. I think abilities are kind of gained a bit of a Malamar like reputation in the US, even for cups. Um, yeah, that's true. That is true. It definitely, it, like, it, it wasn't doing well before LAIC, so maybe you're right. Maybe you are right. That's really cool, Quillman, that you day two at your first regional. That's really cool. It feels pretty good, right, to day two. All right, so airmail. I think I will keep this. Do I just go in with Articuno? Well, if I even find Articuno. Which it's not looking like I will. So, fan club. Nope. Um, I mean, I can search into Hapu, but is it worth it though? I guess it is. Okay, there's our Dikuno. I'm not happy about losing the Orangu though. I think that's better to keep than the crushing. And then I have this, which I think will be the hmm. still or light will come in hand. Everything is gonna be really good. 
at some point. I think it's in Mars. No, I think it's at Belilba. Belilba is my late game win condition. Alright, so then I go Mars. Well, there's the water as well. Okay, so I'm not super happy about it, but this is my plan right here. Cold Crush. Okay, so two energies denied. No welder plate yet. Ended up 60 seconds, but still amazing. That's cool, Quillen. I mean, you're on track for an invite, so that's really good. <laughs> well, there's a welder. Or two fires. Yeah, we're pretty dead here. We are pretty dead. I mean, I might honestly miss the Lorelei this turn. Just to Cold Crush again. The opponent has not missed a single beat, right? Okay, so let's go crushing heads, that's nice, the psychic. And then we go Misty Lorelei. That's gonna be a harsh discard, but oh well. So I do have waters left in the deck, right? Yeah, so one water, one Tid and Liza, one fan club, that's three, the Fava. And the search for the Mars, not the reset stamp. Maybe the custom catcher, because I have two of them in the discard pile, anyways. Okay, one left. So then I go power plant. I don't think I reset stamp yet. I think I'll save that for the next turn. And then I cold crush. So two more energies gone. That's three, four, five, six, seven out of probably at least 11, maybe 14 energy, so halfway there. If this guy survives, that would be pretty huge. Oh my gosh, he just has to switch. <laughs> You've been enjoying Expanded more, okay. Yeah, whoever doesn't break wins in the native brand. But I mean, does that not apply for expanded as well? I feel like it does, right? <clears throat> yeah, I think standard is indeed more on the slower side of things right now. Right. <clears throat> Energy recycle system, oh gosh. Is that still broken? Is that going to break the game? No, he just gets back the psychic, all right. So he even gets the knockout right here. Yikes. Right, now we leave him with zero cards in hand though. Now we leave him with zero cards in hand with this combination. So let's go Ermail for Aranguru. Yeah. If he pulls off the GX attack, we've lost. 
So I need to make sure that that does not happen. This is discardable for the Jesse and James discard father. And then... I like keeping the Articuno, because at some point I will want to use that again, I feel. And I don't want to counter Stadium at all. Alright, so then let's go Reset Stamp. Down to 3, and then he hits me for 70, right? And then we'll go Search, and then we'll go Mars for 2 more cards. And then we'll go Jesse and James. The Elm and what? The Tail and Lies, I feel. Alright, so what did we discard? A treasure, a Mew Mew, and a fire. So I need my opponent to whiff energy a few times. But basically, I need to pull off the Mr. Lorelei next turn, almost. Uh, so I need water back into the deck. I have the Mr. Lorelei. I have, oh, so I can pull it off. Well, no, I need a switch. I need this, and then I would need search. Yeah, because I can't use my ability because of the power plant. What's my opponent top deck? What does my opponent top deck here? Wow, I can't believe I'm potentially using Gold Crush GX three, three times in one game. That's insane. <sighs> What? <laughs> Cherish into that change. Let's go. What a top deck. Standard would be crazy if they reprinted lately, that is true. Hello, I reserved Thanks so much for being here. Happy Thanksgiving. Why did he take so long to play it? I don't know. I actually don't know. Reset stamp. That's fine. And then passes. Okay. Understandably so. So here is where I would love the Fava. Hmm. This is bad though. Can only be top deck switch. That's insane. That is actually insane. Not on Mars, I guess. I can't believe he top deck switch into Jirachi. That is just crazy. <laughs> All right, so airmail, uh, the Poke Gear. <clears throat> Yeah, he can use Marshadow to then. He can use Marshadow to then open up the space for the Greninja. All right, head flip to compensate for the switch. No, so we're playing Turbo Hard mode. Uh, I like the Faba this turn. Like, if I'm not gonna play any other supporter, I think the Faba is good here because that's one escape board and two switches down. All right, so then let's go resource management. I need these back. I need those, and what else? I guess crushing hammer? Well, maybe surge actually. Do I reach far enough for Surge? I do. Because I also need to take on Liza. Yeah. Well, there's a Surge in the deck already, actually. And a take on Liza. So maybe I put back the Surge. 
Yeah, let's do it like this. We'll see. This is gonna be weird. But I feel like if I GX all these energies, I should be good. Right? Yeah, they all play two boards, but he has to find it, right? So it's an extra card he has to find. It's an extra card he has to find. That's the point. It's not about them, like, even if they play four boards, it's one more card. Because if you find 12 plus two energies, he wins. So I need to make it as hard as possible. There's another switch. We know switch and we know reset stamp. Okay, so then he passes. All right. So can we actually pull this off? Okay, I'm gonna poke it here. This gets me search. And then we have two Tin and Lysas that we can access. Custom Catcher. I don't think we're gonna be able to pull it off here. We know he has Switch and Reset Stamp, neither of which are super good. Okay, so now we need the other Custom Catcher. Not quite. If we hit the Switch though, with this Mars, then we might be in an okay spot. Oh my gosh, I hit it. <laughs> I actually... Oh! No, I can't do it right now. Okay, top deck the Latios. Ah, uh, if I had a water, I could do it. No, I can't because I don't... I need to miss the low line. Never mind. Um, definitely benching this guy. And then, okay, so let's resource management. I feel like I'm gonna get reset stamp this turn. So... I'm pretty sure these seem good. I think I'm gonna get reset stamped. So we know my opponent has reset stamp in his hand. I hit the switch, that's big. Hitting the switch is big. Three switches, that's definitely not common, I think. We'll see. We've been so close to losing this game, and I'm starting to see the light. Like, we can definitely pull it off next turn. They call crush, as long as my opponent... Oh my gosh. He found the welder. Oh, and he passes. Okay, I think this is our moment, right? I believe this is our... Moment of glory. Airmail, Discord Father, Airmail, there's the energy. Well, we need Discord Father because we can grab the energy at any point we want with the uh, Misty Lurlai and Discard Father. Yeah. All right. So then we go. Search. I mean, I could play the stadium, but I don't want to give him abilities back. So I'm just going to switch with Tataliza. Now let's go Misty Lorelei. So then we search. We discard Elms. We discard Stadium. We discard Slogan. We discard Kranguru. And I feel like we discard the Hapu. These two are great for switching. And grab the one water we put back. And then we go Bench. Hatch, Tate and Liza, make sure you click the right one, the bottom one. Switch into Articuno, double custom catcher, bring on the Espion Deoxys. Control the top deck, you can have Macargo. Well, actually, you can have Lobony. Macargo is potentially threatening. <laughs> I could also just lose because of Macargo. Oof. Oof. That was close. That was close. Oh no! Wow. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I forgot about the reset stamp. So I need to wait one more turn to put enough cards back so that that wouldn't happen. Oh no, <laughs> we worked so hard for that. Uh, so if I wait another turn, like, I feel like if I 
double custom catcher the Mewtwo I just win? Because then I just discard all, every, all the cards in his hand, I control his top deck, so maybe that was super greedy. <laughs> Sad face. Big rip. I could have stamped, that's true, I could have stamped to take away his stamp. So there were a few ways around that. Maybe I just got too greedy trying to get rid of all the energies, but maybe my opponent played 4 switch, right? Like, you never know. Oh, you can't see the amount of cards in my deck. Oops. I thought you could. Like, over here? I thought you could. Maybe I just move around a lot and can't see. Well, that's my bad. Uh. <laughs> oh, well. Um, I, I forgot about that. I 100% forgot about that. Um, that reminds me of the of the game by Jimmy Pendarvis from the Richmond Regionals. Remember from the highlights video? Yeah, that was that was something. Oopsies. Uh, so once again, we learned from this. Um, I knew the reset stuff was in there, and then I forgot to play around it. I could have just brought up the Mew Mew and started attacking his hand, discarding, continually discarding his hand rather than overextending for this huge, humongous play. Um, I could have also done one more turn of uh, research management and then pulled it off. So there were a few ways around it. Um, that's my bad. That's my bad. <laughs> so yeah, that will be all for today. That will be all for today. Let's find someone cool to host. Let's host Pedro, because he's pretty cool. Yeah, and I will see everyone next stream, which is tomorrow. Yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Jimmy Pendarz is, of course, a great player. That was a small oversight on his part when that happened, but he's definitely a great, great player. So yeah, thank you so much, and I will see you next stream, which should be tomorrow, Friday. Bye-bye!